Hi, this is Sam GFX, and today I'm going to be teaching you how to create an easy desktop background. Um, well, this is, it doesn't really have to be a desktop background, but it's a pretty nice design. Um, yeah, so with the colours here, um, you can change it to whatever colour you like. But yeah, it's all up to you, I guess. So let's get started. So I'm going to go into Photoshop, File New. I'm going to change the width, width to 3 and the height to 3 and make that transparent and just press OK. And to zoom in all the way, you want to go to brush tool, but you want to go to pencil tool and make that one pixel. And you just want to go to about the middle. Oh, you want to make sure that's black first. Go to the middle. Press and just keep going along the whole thing, and then you want to go edit to find pattern, and then you want to just save that. But I've already got it, so you don't need to do that. So I'm just going to close that. Now you want to go file new, and you want to go 1280 by 720. Or you can do whatever you like. This is just how I do it. Press OK. Well, sorry. You need to change that to white. Just press OK. Alright, you want to unlock the background by double clicking it and double click it again. Go to gradient overlay. Go to your gradient. You want to hit the second one there first. And you want to go to whatever you want. Whatever you want. So I'm going to go blue. And you want a dark blue here, so maybe something like that. And you want to go over here, and you just want to get a lot of blue. Like that, and press OK, and you want to change the style to radial. And you want to scale that the highest you can go. And make sure the capacity is 100% and just press OK. Now you want to go to your adjustment layer, go to pattern, and go to the pattern that you just made and just hit OK. And you want to change the capacity to about 15. And now you can go to your text tool, and I'm using Raise 1 original. Um, it's a hard font to find, but if I, I'll try and get you a link in the description, so you can write whatever you want, and it can be whatever font you like, but I'll still try to get you to a link. So you can write whatever you like, I'm going to write same as first, but I'm going to change that to white. This can be whatever colour you like, but I think white is more effective. And um, I'm going to select the layer, go Command T, Control T. I'm just going to size that down while holding shift. Um, it's right there. Now I want to hit Command A or Control A. Go to the Move tool and press Align Horizontally and Align Vertically. And just hit Command or Control D to deselect that. Um, now you want to go to your Rectangle tool. Just want to make a rectangle across the page. Something like that. And oops, sorry about that. And then yeah, so you're gonna leave that like that. Right click, do to layer, press OK, and you wanna hit Command T, you wanna drag that up there a bit, and you wanna zoom in to the and you're just gonna size that down. And yeah, something like that. Maybe a bit smaller. And just bring it to about there, double click and zoom back out again. So that just gives it a nice a nice effect. Then you want to group that and put them in group. Well, sorry. You want to duplicate that group. Press OK. And you want to 
Hit Command or Control T on the group. Bring that down. You want to bring that down to about there. You want to get the rectangle one copy. So, wow, sorry. And you want to press Command T on the small one and just bring that down. And just try to make it the same size as your other one there. So that looks about right. Whoops. Anyway, um, and now we're nearly finished. So you just want to close them groups, and you want to double click the first group. You want to go to drop shadow. And do you want to change the spread to about 30? Um, and you want to change the size to about 50. And you're going to change the opacity to about 50 as well. And just press OK. Um, you want to. Now you want to right click, um, copy layer style. And just paste it onto your other group like that. Now you want to double click on your text and go drop shadow. Um, you want to change the distance to about 10, opacity to 100%, and just press OK. And yeah, that's it. So, so you need to do, you can change the colors whenever you want. Um, so yeah, that's how you make a nice background. And yeah, so thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe and like. And yeah, see you guys.